classrooms are welcoming students for what promises to be the most quote, normal school year of this decade. COVID-19 protocols are being phased out, but doctors say the virus is still active. So our David Littman takes a look at the state of the pandemic and what parents and teachers need to know. August means last minute vacations, back to school shopping, excitement and anxiety about the new school year. And for each of the last three years, it meant rising COVID-19 cases as well. We're in a much better place than two years ago, and especially a year ago. Dr. Paul McGahey serves as the health authority for Smith County. We are still dealing with the BA2 variant, which is very contagious. He says this wave of COVID is different. Usually that illness is not quite as severe. On top of that, this is the first school year in which all school age children are eligible for the vaccine. The uptake on that vaccine has not been as robust as we'd want it to be, but it is still recommended and it's very effective. Schools will take fewer steps to prevent COVID-19 this year, in large part because of updated guidance from the Texas Education Agency. Temperature screenings are no longer required, neither is contact tracing. Children who get sick have to wait five days, then be fever-free and show improvement in their other symptoms to return to class. If they test positive but have no symptoms, they have to stay home five days from the date of that test, and people considered close contacts no longer have to stay home. The TEA will also no longer collect and report the number of cases each week, but some local districts will continue to do that on their own, including Bullard, Lufkin, and White Oak. I surveyed more than 20 local school districts and got responses from 10 of them. None said they had any policies that differed from TEA or the CDC guidelines, except Lufkin ISD. A spokesperson said that if there are more than 75 cases in a 10-day span, it will reinstate its mask requirement, violating an executive order from the governor. Dr. McGehey says most schools do a good job limiting the spread of the virus and believes that their actions will become a common part of the school day. We're in a place now where COVID is a way of life and we need to keep moving forward. David Lippman, CBS 19 News.